Welcome to Love Life for Singles. I'm your host, Jane Donovan, and this is the show that helps you to have a connective, successful, and most important of all, fun social life. Hello again. Here we are, another week, another little podcast. Today, I want to talk about how open are you or how closed are you on a first date? Now, I like to talk about finding the right balance of how much you're going to share and how receptive you are to sharing with somebody else on a first date. Some people go into a first date and share everything that they possibly can about themselves to the other person. It's like, come on, let me tell you all about this and then we can decide whether we're compatible. Go, 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 go. So everything is out on the table. And that can actually be self-sabotaging. For many people, that can be off-putting. It's like, all right, well, I know all about them now. There's no mystery left. I'm not interested in another date. That, that'll do. Or it could be somebody going, why are they sharing everything with me? Like, I, they've talked nonstop. All I've heard about is them, 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 them. And so, again, it's self-sabotaging because people can make assumptions that you're not interested in them if you've done all of the talking. Then there's the complete opposite side where people don't share anything. And I like to look at this as a blind situation where you've got a window and you've got the blind and your blind starts off closed. And when you meet somebody, you're going to open your blind slightly. Now, how far up have you opened your blind? Is it only open an inch or is it open all the way to the complete top? Having healthy boundaries and having good boundaries when you're meeting new people is really important to be successful at dating. I encourage people to have their blind open a good halfway, somewhere where you can share quite a bit, but you've got boundaries, you've got certain things that you're not going to share yet because you don't know these people well enough and they therefore are not qualified as being suitable for you to be sharing everything with. One of the problems that we have with blinds is that people have one blind fits all and they will be prepared to share a certain amount of information, whether it's a little or whether it's a lot, with everybody. And by that I mean whether it's the person that they've just met for the first time and whether it's to date or whether it's in a work environment or you've met a friend of a friend socially or They've got their blind wide open with everybody, whether it's, you know, the first time they've met or it's their best friend that's known them for 20 years. If your blind is set at one level all the time, you're not going to be building rapport as effortlessly and easily as you could. So I encourage you to have a look at where is your blind set? Do you think it's too closed? Do people say you're hard to get to know? If they say that, then you need to consider opening your blind a little bit more. Do people say, oh, you're so easy to read, you can read you like a book, we know everything about you? Then maybe you need to close your blind a little bit and keep a little bit of mystery about you. Keep people wanting to know more about you. But the biggest reason to really look at your blind is to keep yourself safe. When you're building relationships, you want to make sure that people are worthy of knowing more about you. So it's something that has to occur over time. People have to earn that right. It's like money in the bank. They've got to put money in the bank. You've got to put money in the bank. They put some money in. You put some money in. It's an even thing that you're doing. You're evenly exchanging energy. So what most people are going to find the best level is to keep you blind about halfway. There's certain things that are privy to people that have known you for 20 years or people that you have built, spent time building a really good relationship with. And then there are people that you start with your blind half open. And then somewhere along the lines, perhaps they disrespect something or uh, that you've said or the hairs on the back of the neck go up or you get that feeling in your gut, your intuition is saying, hang on, I'm not sure this person's for me. Then what you do is you start to lower your blind down. The other alternative is, of course, you've got your blind halfway open and you start to really connect with people. You start to connect with somebody where you know you're in rapport and you're building rapport. Then you open your blind a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. It's about opening yourself up or closing yourself down based on whether you're wanting to be in rapport and growing rapport or I'm 
in rapport, but I'm actually wanting to get out of rapport and end this, then you start closing the blind. But it's the people that I want to talk to whose blinds are too closed or too open that I'm hoping that this message will help. Consider if your blind is too closed, how can you get to know another person if you're not willing to share something about yourself? It's not the other person's job to make you feel safe. It's each of your job to make each other feel safe. So you open your blind slightly, they open theirs, you open it a bit more, they open theirs, and so on and so on. And for those of you with the blind that's too open, pull it down a little bit and have some healthy boundaries that are going to keep you having greater success of getting the second date. Because often the person with the blind that's wide, wide open often doesn't get the second or third date. And, uh, and you know, that's crucial for you to really getting to know each other. So there you go. There's my little blind analogy that helps you to consider how much of an open book or how much of a closed book you are. And if that does need fine tuning to help you in your journey to successful dating. Have a gorgeous day. Until next week, of course, keep sending me your emails with your suggestions uh, or problems that you think I might be able to do a podcast to help you. You can send those through to janedonovan.com.au. Have a great week. Bye for now. If you're ready to step outside your comfort zone and really engage in having a connective, successful and fun social life, then head to my website, janedonovan.com.au, where I have links to all sorts of opportunities and resources just for singles. And most important of all, I really want you to remember you are worthy.